A stray bullet hit and killed the mother of two in Willowbrook, and police still do not have an arrest here. NBC4's John Keddes Klimak with the story. She was a you know, cool, loving person. Speaking in the past tense for his big sister, Dorothea Mercer. She was joyful, you know, always having fun, always smiling. Another family in Willowbrook grieving over an unsolved murder, this time near 132nd Street and Jarvis Avenue. We heard like some gunshots and stuff like that. And I jumped out of my bed and I looked outside. He didn't want to share his name, and he tried hard to hide the pain of what he remembers Tuesday night. My sister was on the bed. She was just bleeding, you know what I mean? So um, uh, the, I called the uh, 911, and, you know, they was trying to tell me to, like, you know, do CPR and, you know, try to revive her and stuff like that. So I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm, you know, nervous at the same time. Witnesses tell us that there was something happening Tuesday night, that people had gathered here. In fact, right there where you see the candles in that parking spot, someone else had passed away from an unrelated incident. And in that group of people, there was a fight that broke out. And then bullets started to fly over the parking area and towards the apartment. She was looking out the window, you know, trying to see what's going on, you know what I mean? But when the bullet came through her window, and um, hit her. Sheriff homicide detectives are investigating but have yet to make an arrest, even with so many people who potentially witnessed it. A code of silence in South LA this family hopes will break. Senseless, man, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Babe. Every day it's like a different person, you know, dying or something like that over something senseless, you know. A GoFundMe account hopes to raise money for burial expenses and the two young daughters left behind. Beyond that, Dorothea's family says they lean on their faith to get through. And just, you know, try to pray, keep prayers alive and, you know, pray for the kids, pray for us, pray for the family, friends, even the people who did, you know, pray for them too. From Willowbrook, John Cuddy's Klimak, NBC4 News.